Hello. Mic test. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Hello. Mic test. Hello. Hi. English exit, exit test. test. Speaking. Speaking. This, this test, test consists of three tasks. tasks. Simulated conversation, conversation job, job interview, interview, and oral, oral presentation. presentation. You are required to listen and respond. Task 1. In this task, you will participate in a simulated conversation. You are given 20 seconds to prepare and one minute to respond. Listen to Erna. Hey, have you heard that our company is going to have a family day? I'm one of the organizing committee members. It's going to be great. We're still thinking about what to do for the closing ceremony though. Do you have any ideas? What activity do you think would be best? You now have 20 seconds to prepare. You now have one minute to respond. Hey Erna, yeah, I did hear about the uh, family day and I'm very much looking forward to it. So I think for the closing ceremony, uh, we should do two things. So the first one is there should be a prize giving ceremony. Um, and because, you know, during family days, right, we're going to have so many events beforehand. So yeah, the people who won the games would really enjoy it if they got gifts right and presents and prize and also the prize giving ceremony should be done over dinner the closing dinner and it shouldn't be just any regular old dinner it should be a barbecue dinner wouldn't that be so fun oh my god i just had a third idea where i think there should also be a um uh not raffle what's that one what's that one um lucky draws so that people who did not win anything during the games could also win something oh that would be so fabulous end of task one task two in this task you will participate in a job interview the interviewer will ask you three questions. Listen carefully. You will be given time to prepare before you respond. Hello. Firstly, what interests you about this position? You now have 10 seconds to prepare. You now have one minute to respond. Hi, thank you for seeing me about this position to become a tourist guide with your company. So I'm really excited about this post because um, I am very, I really, really like jobs where there's a lot of variety and if we're dealing with a tour company uh, then every day we would be meeting new people so there will be new challenges uh, furthermore uh, i know your company has a very wide range of packages that you offer so again that builds into the variety that i'm looking for uh, so i would uh, it would be very, very motivating for me to go to work every day and enjoy meeting new people, going to new places and um, dealing with different challenges that arise because we're in different locations and meeting, you know, different group dynamics. So I think I would be a best fit for this job for that. Tell me. What motivated you to do well in your studies? 
You now have 20 seconds to prepare. You now have two minutes to respond. Um, there are many different things that motivated me in my studies, uh, but I think uh, the most, the three most important things that I want to mention is that myself, uh, the subject, and also my family. Right. So for myself, um, I think studying uh, is a form of expression, and also it it's when you are studying there are challenges that you must surmount uh, and you know the easiest way uh, that is translated into a tangible thing would be your exam results so i think i get a very good i get a very high sense of achievement if i did well in my exams so that really pushed me to do very very well in them but that ties in with the second point is that uh, the subjects that I'm studying itself or themselves, um, if I really like them, if I'm passionate in them, then I won't even need to kind of push myself because I would just be very, very interested in it. So, for example, uh, you know, uh, if it's classes like literature or uh, anything that involves any field group, field work and uh, doing CSR projects, I would be a bit very enthusiastic in those ones. Um, and the last one, would be my my parents or my family because uh, no I do I don't only want to make myself proud but I want to make people who love me proud and happy as well and so uh, you know our parents uh, invest a lot of things in our education and they want to see us happy and successful and I think that really pushed me that really really fuels me towards. Uh, working hard towards my goals so that I can satisfy them as well as make myself happy. Thank you. Can you tell me about a difficult situation you encountered and how you overcame it? You now have 30 seconds to prepare. You now have two minutes to respond. Okay, uh, one of the most challenging things that I've encountered throughout my studies was when uh, in my second, next to last, uh, my in my penultimate year, um, I had to organize a CSR project uh, to to promote uh, education to uh, a group of Oranasli. So uh, we need to organize a trip and go there and uh, conduct uh, engagement projects with them in order to uh, get uh, their children to go to school and increase literacy. Um, naturally, this is a very challenging project because uh, we don't know, we didn't have any contacts, we don't know um, the customs of the Orang Asli, we didn't know what would be appropriate and what wouldn't be. And so it, uh, you know, it was very chaotic in the beginning and uh, with my team as well everybody had different ideas and how to how to run things uh, and we kind of couldn't come to any sort of an agreement what really helped us was speaking to our teacher and also speaking to uh, an officer with the uh, orang asli development office because uh, you know, people with more experience know what to do and what to expect. So the teacher helped us to really kind of like fit our objectives to the activities that we have planned. And then when we sat down with the development officer, uh, he told us the expectations that the Ora Asli would have and what 
uh, what we could do to help make our visit a success. For example, they really like it if we brought gifts like uh, sugar. We didn't even think about like, you know, like basic staples that would be very, very helpful to them. So yeah, speaking, getting advice from people who's really more experienced that really helped us to overcome our challenge. End of task 2. Task 3. In this task, you will give a 3-minute presentation based on the information shown on the screen. You will be given time to prepare before you present. Situation. Your company has just come up with a new application for smartphones and you have been tasked to find out the most suitable advertising media for the product. Using the chart below, discuss the three advertising media most preferred by consumers and choose the most suitable media for your product and give your reasons. You now have 60 seconds to read and prepare. You now have three minutes to respond. Hi everyone, welcome to this meeting where uh, we're going to uh, discuss how we're going to advertise and promote the new application for smartphones that our company has just come up with. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to attend this meeting. Okay, so I will divide the presentation into two parts. Uh, firstly, we will discuss the advertising uh, avenue that uh, the advertising avenues that are preferred by most uh, consumers, and then we're going to choose the most suitable way to pro uh, market our product. All right. So if you look at the chart below, um. The largest uh, advertising media that's preferred by uh, consumers is clearly social media by quite a large margin at 40%. But then uh, the second uh, one uh, would be television. So uh, social media and television together would make up about 70% of the market um, market uh, cut. Okay. Uh, the other ones would be radio at 15%. Uh, so I guess maybe because a lot of people still drive around and when you're in your car, you're listening to the radio and that's how you're going to get a lot of advertising as well, right? Um, but uh, now, having said that those three are the most uh, valuable or most important uh, advertising avenue today, I think we need to kind of consider our target demographic as well uh, because uh, this is an application for smartphones and clearly we are targeting uh, the younger generation. So the younger generation, uh, you know, teenagers and also young adults, they, most of them really, really prefer social media. Um, not even Facebook because that's for old people, but um, your Instagram, your TikTok. So I think those would be the most uh, valuable uh, outlets if we want to focus our advertising on uh, for the youngsters because um, especially as social media there are a very uh, like it's a multi-modal avenue right because you can 
have a uh, visual and audio and also you know editing etc etc and on top of that uh, something that social media wins over the uh, convention conventional media is that social media can be interactive as well so that means uh, we can run um, competitions and you know TikTok challenges for example on social media and then we'll get our target demographic to join in and help promote the product for us so yeah if we could get any influencers in that would be wonderful end of test Hey Erna, yeah, I did hear about the... Hi, thank you for seeing me about this position to become a tourist guide. Um, there are many different things that motivated me in my studies, uh, but I think... Uh, okay, uh, one of the most challenging things that I have encountered throughout my studies was when uh, in my... Hi everyone, welcome to this meeting where uh, we're gonna 